And also on the entertainment news, Kanye West may be in trouble as George Floyd's family uh, files lawsuit. Following his controversial interview on a recent episode of the Drink Champs podcast where he discussed the death of George Floyd and several other topics, Kanye West might face legal battle as the mother of George Floyd's daughter has sued the billionaire rapper for $250 million. According to Kanye West, George Floyd, who was murdered by Minneapolis, Minneapolis police, Derek Chauvin, in May 2020, died after taking fentanyl and the police officer's knee wasn't even on his neck. George Floyd's family has since issued a cease and desist letter to Kanye West for the comments he made on the Dream Champs podcast, which has since been taken down. In the lawsuit filed by Roxy Washington, the mother of Genia Floyd, her lawyer said Kanye West made false statements about George Floyd's death to promote his brand and increase marketing value and revenue for himself, his business partners and associates. Attorney Nuru Winterspoon said, George Floyd's daughter is being traumatized by Kanye West's comments and he's creating an unsafe and unhealthy environment for her. Kanye's comments are repugnant attempts to discount George Floyd's life and to profit from his inhuman death, added by attorney Pat D. Dixon III. Contrary to Kanye's false belief, it was proven in criminal and civil court that disgraced former police officer Derek Chauvin kneeling on Floyd's neck during an arrest was the major factor in his mother. Last April, Chauvin was found guilty of second-degree unintentional mother and third-degree mother and second-degree manslaughter in Floyd's death. Last May, the city of Minneapolis settled a wrongful death lawsuit with Floyd's family for $27 million. Derek Chauvin was, however, sentenced to 22 years in prison last June. Just so you know, George Floyd was a black man was killed in an altercation with police in Minneapolis in May 2020 with a 9-minute video showing Officer Derek Chauvin with his knee on his neck. Ah, <sighs> Kanye, Kanye, Kanye. <laughs> Uh, we touched on it briefly last week when we were talking. I've forgotten the issue we we're talking about that Kanye as is on that wave again. When yeah. it starts, yeah. it just keeps going. Yeah. Instagram had to ban him. I think Twitter did the same thing. And when, I'm I'm still trying to watch. Yeah, even though Revolt TV pulled down the Drink Champ podcast, yeah. but <clears throat> we can still watch it one way or the other. Yeah. yeah, you can log in and sign in and whatever. But people are, people are already complaining. And it was a case where, when he even started the interview, he was telling Nori, uh, that's one of the hosts uh, of the, he said, do you want to continue with this interview? Because I want to speak my mind. Mm. People don't want to interview Kanye West again mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. lately he has been saying a whole lot mm -hmm. of rubbish. Mm -hmm. And now the podcast is in trouble. Mm -hmm. Nori has been going all around, granting mm -hmm. interviews and apologizing. They say, why will you let him go on saying yeah. something that yeah. you know will hurt people, mm -hmm. hurt the family of mm -hmm. uh, Floyd, Floyd's family that you should know better as a black man. Why are you allowing a mm -hmm. fellow black man to keep... He apologized that mm -hmm. I didn't want a situation... I, and this was um, Breakfast Club uh, telling the Charlemagne that I didn't want a situation whereby he will walk out of the interview. Mm -hmm. Because he has said it that if you don't let me speak my mind, I will walk out. Walk out uh, yeah. So it's it's different reaction now. People are saying, can we let the man speak? There's freedom mm -hmm. of speech mm -hmm. that he should speak. He can say whatever he wants to say. Mm -hmm. But people are not still having it like, guy, yeah, there are some sensitive things that... Yeah, yeah you want to say... Mm -hmm. they your mind, but no talk calm now. Yeah. To, to, to well, buttress your point, uh, uh, um, I think it's quite insensitive from Kanye West, uh, especially because he's a major black man yeah. in the entertainment industry on a topic that actually kick-started the whole Black, black, black Lives Matter, matter. Yeah. that became worldwide. You know, so it's quite insensitive. Uh, and and, uh, yeah. you, know, you know, the annoying part was the fact that he started with the whole White, white Lives, Lives Matter, matter T-shirt, and then he decided to buttress his point by going further to talk about what started it. And now it's so controversial that everyone is like, what exactly is going on with Kanye? Because on the other hand, his lawyers are saying that he finally told them that maybe they should sign some papers and is ready to end the whole thing and the divorce with Kim. But I don't see that happening anytime soon because Kanye seems to be obsessed with Kim. He Kanye, can't let her go. Kanye is talking about... People's body size. Yes. <laughs> calling out the and race. Attacking race, the Jewish people. <sighs> yeah, yeah, but come to think of it, we look at this, and it's true from what um, the daughter said. It feels like he's trying to promote something. So it's, it's a preemptive attempt to, because it's come, come with a shirt, white lives matter, to be in the news mm. and to say things. 
and trigger the community so that they start to talk about Kanye West. So I think he understands how the media works and he's now pushing the button. But what kind of terrible promotion is that with something so sensitive? Yeah. Nah, it makes is, no it sense. It is terrible. Oh.